Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome back. Um, yeah, literally, it's been like a couple months. <laughs> um, so, I got a new guitar. Um, getting ready to do a review right now. You're wondering, what the hell is that that you're playing? So, I give you this here Ibanez Micro series. Uh, I'm sure it has like a technical serial number name, which Ibanez is known for, but this is a Ibanez Micro. And your question is, is it worth getting? Well, it actually surprises you, you know. Um, I'm going to say yes, it is worth getting. But I'm going to pinpoint the pros and the cons about this guitar. Alright, we'll get to the cons out of the way first, okay? The, the volume and tone knobs, uh, they work, but they're not great because you could easily roll them down and it just uh, it's very low quality of course uh, that's just kind of nitpicky but I mean and also you got some unfinished uh, work around the headstock in the neck area you can see a little you know splex smudge there same way with the other I believe the other side just barely see it, but it's right up against this um, fretboard. And uh, it's got a little bit of unfinished work there. And, um, you know, when I look at it like this, it seems like the headstock wants to lead forward a little bit. But I was still able to make this work anyway. Uh, now for the cons. Really, I can't complain too much. Uh, other than that, it's a bolt-on maple neck. And I don't know what kind of wood the body is, but it's a it's hardtail bridge. Not a Floyd Rose, unfortunately. I know I like my Floyd Roses, but it's whatever. I need to learn to live without a Floyd Rose, am I right? So, it's got... A humbucker, humbucker configuration, a five-way selector switch right here. Uh, I'm going to assume bridge, and right here is bridge. And then I believe, I could be wrong, you can correct me in the comments down below, but I believe it splits the, the humbucker in half as a single coil, which is very unique. And then in the middle right there is both humbuckers, you know. And then get to this position here. It's more to the bridge. And one coil right here, I believe. Again, you can quote me that I'm wrong. And then at the end, it's just the neck pickup. You know, volume, tone. And uh, it's a little miniaturized RG series. The scale length is about 22 inches from the nut all the way to the bridge and the fret board radius is about 15.75 inches uh the frets um are just like standard frets i'm assuming cheap i guess the cheap standard i don't know if that's such a thing anyway um there is absolutely and i bought this for stupid cheap like dirt cheap I'm thinking for like it, this was even on sale for 130 bucks like it is the strap comes se separately but by itself as a guitar that is not a bad buy and also the action on this when I got it tuned is spectacular just very spectacular I didn't even have to intonate this at all because I checked it and it was all two key I guess, or two tuning. I don't know. I'm kind of a goofball on here anyway. You guys know that. Uh, oh, I do want to mention one more con about this is the tuning keys on these. It's not all that great 
I mean, you could still use them, but I would probably, I don't know, if you can get some new tuning keys for these, probably like uh, one of them Goto tuners or something, if you're willing to drop some money on this. Um, if not, I just like it the way it is for now. I may change the tuning keys on these, but other than that, I have had this thing for a week. I have ordered it last Monday, not this Monday, Monday before, and it's been almost a week, and I have put this thing to the test. I've played some Megadeth, as you can see, and a Van Halen song through this, and it doesn't do near as bad, but it is nonetheless a cheap guitar, probably one of the cheapest you could buy except for maybe like a Mitchell or something. But other than that, I think they did a pretty good job for a cheap guitar that it is. For having no sharp fret ends and no uh, bowing at all. Uh, and it's just a single piece maple neck. It's just, this guitar is outstanding. And I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you liked my other previous videos, go watch them. Hand built covers. Or go watch hand built reviews and tutorials. Um, I'm forgetting something. Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, this is a very great guitar Ibanez right, has made. Besides the little mismanufacturing, what do you expect when you put down like 130 bucks for this on sale? You know, there's bound to be flaws on this, but the but the white paint job, yeah, there's little little scratch right there. That's probably me digging my pick in. Um, other than that, uh, the strings that did come on these. Before from yeah, that's what I was thinking. The strings that came in stock, um, they were rusty, nasty, grody. It sounded god awful. So I replaced them with DR strings, the dime bag signature, the uh, light strings, since this is a very small scaled guitar. I figured those would be appropriate for this kind of instrument. So Again, thank you. Leave a like, leave a subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. See ya.